going on guys um, it's been a little bit since I posted anything about the 240 um, so I figured I just got a bunch of stuff in and you know it's nice out Saturday finally got some time to myself so uh, today I'm gonna be installing a dual caliper kit and then five lug hubs um, I think it's about time I uh, you know actually you know like get this thing not necessarily funner but better for drifting um, the last event which I will have up hopefully sometime soon I gotta go through a lot of footage from the last event it was uh, my first time on a road course but um it was awesome but uh, anyways I caught myself uh, kind of like I, I would I would do the whole track I would link the whole track but um I would have to like clean it up and this car third gear in this car it kind of sucks but um so the the stock e-brake it barely works it you know it's good for holding the car still and that's about it um <clears throat> so i got a hydro setup going in it's a it's a it's like a knockoff hydro but i got it for free so i figured you know why not use that for the time being um i have i think one event left and this car is going in the garage for the season anyways um so i got these uh I honestly don't even know like what brand they are. I'm gonna have to say maybe Duraflex, but um, I picked these up pretty cheap. They're 100 bucks for both of them. Um, they got some shoddy ass bodywork because they were cracked right here and like right here. But um, so I just need to find the time to pull these off to fix them, make them better because it's like I know it's a drift car, but it's like lumpy. It's fucking it's nasty. But um, these are over fenders, of course. I think they're 40 mil. Um, you can see from the back, you know, they stick out pretty good. Um, I also did 300ZX um, calipers in the front. Um, so, right now I'm going to bring out the uh, the dual caliper kit. I'm probably going to move the car over a little bit so I have some more room. And then uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I got for it. This is everything I have gotten so far. Um, we got the five lug hubs. Um, seem to be in good shape. Uh, this is like my prized possession right here. So I was gonna go with the uh, with the villains kit. They come with like Volkswagen Bug, like 1970 Volkswagen Bug um, calipers. But I ended up picking up this kit for a pretty good deal. Um, came with like reinforced, you know, plates. I could have made these myself, honestly. They wouldn't be this nice, but I definitely could have made these myself. Um, the guy threw in this little handbrake for free so for the time being I am gonna you know use it um, not a big fan of like the the, the pull-up style I'd rather pull back because um, this does you know this would kind of get like get in the way of the you know the stock e-brake which is gonna have to come out but um <clears throat> so I got the uh, five lug drilled and slotted rotors wood calipers five lug swap and then this janky eBay Godspeed um, Hydro. So now I'm going to show you guys what wheels I picked up because you know, he's a four lug. So I picked up some nice, uh, some nice, nice new wheels. All right, so I ended up getting some Enki RPF ones. Um, yeah, Enki, Enkai, whatever, whatever you want to, you know, however you want to say them. But uh, these are basically brand new. Um, I got them for a pretty good price. I got everything for a pretty good price. This is this is separate from uh, when I bought that stuff. But um, so I ended up getting these. They are they're staggered, so the rears are 17 by 10 plus 18 offset, and then the fronts would be 17 by 9 plus 22. I did order some Federal RSR tires for the fronts, just because I talked to some people at the track and. I have some like knockoff forty-five dollars, uh, forty-five dollar tires in the front, and uh, I think it's about time I like try and get a little bit better stuff. So I got everything for right around six fifty, um, which is awesome considering the the dual caliper kit um, is around eight hundred by itself. And then I got the five lug swap with it, and rotors, and a free handbrake with all the lines. So I'm gonna start by jacking this thing up. I'm gonna start on the rear first. I. Uh, <laughs> Got the, the caliper off, got the rotor off, the bracket for the caliper. Um, so next up 
is I'm gonna pull this little uh, thing off, cotter pin, buzz the nut off, and then start getting at the bolts in the rear. This is a eBay exhaust, and if you guys seen any of my videos, I definitely like rev limiter, but um, I think I spanked this exhaust a little bit. So I can pull it out. This is crazy. Wow. Are you kidding me? So yeah, I uh, I broke the inner core. That's it's a job well done right there. All right, so I got all the bolts out. It was kind of a bitch. They were kind of tight. Oh, oops. Rolling the fenders. So I'm going to keep going at this until it loosens up. And I can pull it out. All right, so <clears throat> did a little bit of work. Um, Spent a little bit of time underneath the car. Uh, I got all the lines situated, got them all tightened down. Um, the T that connects all three lines together, um, a little fucking jank, but uh, it should work. So if it leaks, it leaks, I'll get a new one. But um, anyways, I got it like zip tied to the subframe in a couple spots. And then on the uh, e-brake cable going up, I was able to in the position I want the handbrake, I was able to keep this guy, so that's going to be kind of nice, you know. Um, so this is kind of like where I want the handbrake. Yeah, I took the bolt out, so it's kind of floppy dick right now. But anyways, that's where it's going to be. It doesn't get in the in the way of like reverse. It kind of gets in the way of the uh, of the passenger, but as long as you're not fucking spread eagle, it's not going to be a problem. Um, unfortunately, I do have to, you know, get rid of my center console for the time being. Um, so that's that. All right. So sadly enough, this is a 17 by 9 <coughs> clearance for the caliper, mint, <coughs> um, coilover. Not so much. Um, so that kind of sucks ass a lot. So I gotta, I gotta go order something like right now. Alright, well, that's going to uh, conclude this video. I'm going to bleed the hydro off camera because that's just bleeding a brake system. But uh, let me know in, down in the comments, uh, the four of you that are going to watch this, what color I should paint the rims. Um, the car is going to be white over the winter time. I'm going to be painting it. I'll be making a video series about that. And I'm thinking midnight purple for these uh it's an r32 color um i think it's a gtr color it's like the really really deep metallic purple um i think it would look awesome i would uh match my valve cover with it too and yeah let me know what you guys think um maybe i can do something cool with the calipers too but uh otherwise you know give me a like you know comment you know give me some ideas of what you guys want to see I got a lot of stuff going to be happening over the winter time. I might pull the engine to paint the bay. Um, I want to paint the interior or the, the cage and the floor and whatnot. Um, I got a bunch of shit I got to do. I think I might try and get rear over fenders. Um, other than that, <clears throat> this is going to be the end of this video. Um, subscribe if you guys like what you see. I'm um, sorry the video is kind of all over the place. Um, it kind of sucks trying to work because it's like it gets dark at like 530. It's, all right, it's six o'clock right now, and it's just about dark. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. That fitment kind of sucks, so maybe the spacer won't be a bad idea. Something just ripped by on the highway. But I'm gonna order a spacer right now, and hopefully we have some better luck.